beautiful day out here today. We're having a whole heat wave and everything. So hopefully there's a heat wave inside this Cars and Coffee today with some heat, fire, exclusive cars. Because last weekend or the weekend before that was kind of ass, but today I got some faith. So I'm about to dive in and show you what we got. Alright, well, finally made it. I completely packed it. That's how it is nowadays. They've been doing so good here. And the word is dying out. And there just be hundreds of people every weekend now. But pretty cool. I can't complain. More people, more cars. So let's dive in and see what we got. Let's start off with this. This is sick right here. This one don't have the whole Brabus package on it, but I feel like the white with the carbon is just sick. Got the two back to backs. We're, we're all this is a six pack. Got the orange outside. Yeah, I like the peanut buttery cream interior. It's pretty sick. A little orangey if you ask me. Interior. I love these cars, man. D12 front engine. It's like the F12, basically what DDE and they got going on. It's just sick. I don't know what it is about these cars, but I literally love these shits. A lot of people don't buy them or they're overpriced, but it's the presence, it's like a spaceship. It's a good beginner supercar, I ain't gonna lie. You never really see people put rims like this, especially two-tone. And some sick balls and they go perfect with this car. It's like a nice dark black with the black and yellow pinstripes. This is sick. I like these. one this is I don't think it's a 430 it's a 430 these are so sick like I feel like these cars right here aged way better than the 458s 458s 488s like this car is badass if you ask me call me crazy but I'd rather take one of these over a 458 any day This is one sick ass lineup right here. Look at them colors. This is a pretty sick lineup we got right here. Orange Huracan Spider. Orange McLaren. Yellow 570 GT. And it's super sick spec F8 Spider again. The interior is sick. They got that Sprite colorway. It's like yellow with like navy and lime green stitching or ye yellow stitching. This is sick. It's gotta be one of my favorite McLarens. I tell ya every time. The one that has these lights like this. I don't know if it's a 600, 650. This is sick though. I would never believe it. But a car like this, a 650S. It's literally pushing a pair of ESR rims. Don't ask me how or why, but it got ESRs on it. This is another very unwanted car. I don't know what it is. I love this shit. These rims are fucking sick. I sure they're not OEM. These are the Lowe's rims. But this is a GT4 Luso hatchback. Front engine V12. Oh, this is just sick. We switch sides now. 
Yes, we got the GTR in the cut. No more Land, Ferraris. We got the Godzilla here. I feel like R34s might be hands down the best looking 90s GTR they made. Like, look at this shit. This color is pretty sick too, but. GT3 build we seen. I love this wing with that little step up shit. This is sick. I ain't gonna lie, this might be one of the best GT3s we've seen of this year. This is so fire. Some of you are gonna get offended, but these 430s are just sick. This, these are confusing as hell, honestly. This might actually be a 360. It is a 360. Ah, these I don't like too much. The 430 sets are sick though. This is pretty cool too. Another awesome 720, like the 100th one they have in here today, but this is sick. Orange with the orange seatbelts, can't be mad at it. I ain't a fan of orange though, but pretty cool. Two classics right here parked up side by side. It's crazy because they're like flip-flop. This one is the white with the fire blue pinstripe. This one's blue with the crazy white pinstripe. These cars are amazing though, man. This shit just looks sick. The hoods popped, we see like the whole tire and shit. This is fire. I love this setup on a GT3, shit is sick. Top on this shit is insane right now. I wish I knew what I was looking at when looking at shit like this, but I'd be having no idea. I have no idea what that 427 stands for. I'm guessing it's a supercharged, but again, I have no idea. But this is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, this is sick. Rarely see these here. I don't know how I feel about this body kit, but I thought it was the first GT63 we've seen with something like this on it. She got a full little wide body kit on it. I don't know what it is about Nardo, but Nardo is just sick. Nardo and Yellow go so good together. This is a fire setup. Calm, nothing too crazy. Just simple and clean. I might have to take back what I said earlier about the 
R34 being the nicest looking one. These R33s are pretty badass too, I can't even lie. And you got the carbon hood, carbon grill. This is sick. I do love the R34, but these are pretty cool too. I love looking at these FRSs, bro. I need one of these one day. It's just sick to see. The new and the old, both still looking good. This is a pretty sick Turbo S2000 right here. This is literally my favorite blue. It's kind of like the SI blue, but not. But this is sick. His fitment is just on point. And he got the BBSs on. Could use a little cleaning. Kind of dirty as hell, but perfect fitment for real. This might be one of the best back F8s we've seen so far. Why not? This actually, I think it is. It's got the panda going on. Black with the white stripe, and it's a spider. The interior is crispy. Look at that. Yeah, I feel like these. F8 SF90s are going to age way better than the 458s for sure. That's gonna about do it for this one. This was a good turnout. As you can see, we've seen a whole bunch of heat, fire, flames. Well worth it. I got like an hour and a half, two hour drive back home right now, but it's always worth it. About to stop, get some food, and then I'm gonna just jump right into that traffic. So, you yeah, already know though, be back again next week. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace.